Hi guys, Santan here with uh, coming to you today with uh, David of Hot Water, the what do you call it, lesser known cousin of uh, Ho- or David of Cold Water, not cold, cool water, and uh, yeah, I hope I don't get into hot water for saying that. Sorry, I just had to, you know, pardon my pun and whatnot. Anyway, coming to this uh, uh, perfume here which i got as a sample actually because uh, i didn't know if i want to really uh, invest and buy a full bottle or not um so i got a sample just to you know get used to the smell okay and uh, so what what do i feel about this uh, perfume well um this is uh, apparently uh, uh, what do you call it a perfume that's launched in 2009 uh, you know we all know that uh, the our good old Green, green Irish tweed, uh, Comparo, Cold Water, Davidoff was launched in the late 1980s and it become a legend of its own since then. Uh, so this is a much younger cousin, okay, younger and lesser known cousin. Uh, and uh, it's got uh, some notes here: warm wood, uh, warm wood, and basil being at the top, followed by a mint of paprika and patchouli, and a base of uh, benzoin and styrax. Okay, now where else have I seen uh, paprika before? Mm, yeah, they're very famous. Um, was it Olivia Polge, our uh, uh, good old Spice Bomb, right? Uh, spice Bomb, the original I'm talking about. Uh, I, I believe it had some of these more exotic uh, spices inside. Uh, things like um, uh, cinnamon and uh, things like um, saffron and all these things, okay? Uh, well, anyway, let's not go into another perfume now. We're talking about David of uh, Hot Water. Uh, so now, first of all, I got, uh, of course, you, there's some, uh, I feel a bit more of alcohol here. Of course, it's not a niche perfume, so we can't expect uh, pure, uh, you know, uh, expensive or high concentrate. Uh, but it, it does its job. So after the alcohol thing sort of uh, come, calms down, then you get the German uh, feel. Lots of people use uh, the word, uh, you know, like, you know, certain perfumes, they have the word, you know, the one word that everybody uh, like use as a, What's the word for it? Um, short form to talk all about that perfume, right? Like in one or two words, you can just say, "Boom!" This is what it's about. Okay. Um, so now, if you talk, if you if you see what's the word for it, everybody says Dr Pepper. All right. People get that kind of a smell, some baby powder added to it, and and uh, a lot of people like it actually. You know, because Davidoff's are usually decently priced products, and and they smell quite good. So I mean, definitely, it's it's a very reasonable uh, choice for many people. Okay. Uh, but would I uh, say this is lovely, this is great, blind by? No, I wouldn't say that. Uh, especially if you've been spoiled by the original and uh, and and uh, and uh, and uh, you know the the OG uh, David of Cool Water, uh, you might find this to be a bit you know different, maybe a bit less uh, exciting. But uh, overall, uh, it's it's a decent value for money. It's uh, it has issues if you ask me in terms of projection and longevity. You can compensate with more sprays, I think. Uh, other than that, um, yeah, it's just a pretty average perfume, you know. Uh, nothing so good, nothing so bad about it. Okay, I'm not uh, how to say, uh, you know, falling head head over heels in love with this. So, um, yep, my uh, verdict, my marks for this is, I think I'll give it a 2.5 out of um, not 2.5. I think it'll give, mm, this is tough. Between two and 2.5. Well, I give it. I'll give it a two point five. It's not a bad. It's not bad. Okay. It's just a, nothing so special for me, at least. So, uh, if any of you all are within that, you know, average price perfume you look for, and uh, the original uh, David Off does not do it for you, you can always consider this for a more gourmet, um, uh, what do you call it, paprika type of uh, smell. If that's your, if that rocks your boat, all right. So, two point five out of five, guys. David Off, hot water. See you guys next time. Take care. Bye bye.